Hello, my friends. I hope you're having a lovely March 6th, 2019, and today we're going to talk about Nintendo and their mobile games. Uh, I know a lot of you aren't interested in Nintendo's mobile efforts, but Nintendo stated right from the beginning that their real plan with mobile was to get their IP out in front of people who wouldn't normally see it, and then hopefully woo them in to what they are doing with their traditional stuff on portables and consoles. So. Uh, no real surprise there if you've been following along with Nintendo, but today we have some comments from people involved with Dragalia Loss, which is a mobile game that uh, is a partnership between Nintendo and Psy Games. And Psy Games' parent company, Cyber Agent, was talking about the revenue that they made off of the game because they missed their projections for revenue, which obviously they put out before the game came out. And now that the game is out, it is doing well, but not doing as well as they expected. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it gets funny. Uh, someone at Cyber Agent, again, Psy Games developed, Psy Games is, uh, or uh, Cyber Agent is the parent com company for Psy Games, so this isn't a Psy Games developer saying this, this is, you know, Cyber Agents, whoever, they didn't name the person, but uh, the, the people at Cyber Agent, when they speak publicly, are going to be more about uh, what's going on with revenue and stuff like that, so that's where we're getting this statement from. But, uh, yeah, they didn't really mince words here. They talked about the misprojections and they said, Nintendo is not interested in making a large amount of revenue from a single smartphone game. If we managed the game alone, we would have made a lot more. <laughs> so, yeah, that's brutally honest, because, uh, they would have probably added in more microtransaction opportunities, or made them more expensive, or both possibly. Which is something you see from a whole slew of mobile develop developers, it's nothing new really. Um, but it is not how Nintendo operates. And a lot of Nintendo fans, while they may not be interested in what Nintendo's doing on mobile, this story came out and they're like, well... That's actually kind of nice to hear, <laughs> to know that Nintendo's not trying to nickel and dime you around every single corner uh, with their mobile efforts. And Nintendo has, uh, for better and worse, done a whole bunch of different um, monetization options on mobile. They did Super Mario Run, which was one flat fee, and no other uh, paid content in there, that was it. And a lot of people felt the game was too expensive at first, and it didn't seem like that payment option went over well, because the game, uh, the game, what did it, it had like a demo, right? You could play a certain amount of levels and then you had to pay to get everything else. Um, that was downloaded a whole bunch of times, but the conversion to paid customers wasn't a lot. And it's still crazy to me, because I, I guess when it comes to mobile, people are like, what was it, 10 bucks? They were like, 10 bucks? I'm not paying 10 bucks. What are you, crazy? But these are the same people who on mobile games will spend like hundreds of dollars each month on different microtransactions and loot boxes and loot crates or whatever the hell you want to call that stuff. Uh, and I remember thinking when Nintendo did Super Mario Run, I was like, man, this this is actually kind of a cool way of doing it. You just pay once and then you don't have to worry about ever having to uh, cough up cash again to get new content. But consumers didn't want that. Then you have Fire Emblem Heroes, which is much more in a traditional uh, line of monetization for mobile games. And that has been a huge success for Nintendo. So I guess it's just a completely different market. They look at monetization differently, and it's, you know, they, they look at how all the other games have been doing it for years, and it's just the norm there. So they'd rather just pay piece by piece, I guess maybe they feel like, those players feel like they uh, are more in control of how much they spend rather than being forced to spend a certain amount. Now obviously Fire Emblem Heroes, you don't have to spend any money, but uh, you know, all over the place, there's options to do so, and like I said, it's working out for Nintendo. Um, but yeah, Nintendo has said multiple times that they're taking different approaches to monetization because they want to see what works and what doesn't, and they want to provide a good value to the customer. And uh, Nintendo actually uh, provided a comment and said, yes, they do talk to their developers that they work with on mobile games, or their partners, I should say, uh, to make sure that all areas of the game are fun and enjoyable and that uh, consumers aren't pushed to spend so much money. Uh, which is good, that's what you want to hear. Obviously Nintendo's more used to a scene where there's one flat rate for a game and that's it. I mean, yes, they do have paid DLC for some of their uh, traditional platform games right now. That is the case, but by and large they like to just have you pay once and that's it. So to know Nintendo is out there trying to make a name for itself in the mobile space and doing it while, you know, trying to respect the customer's wallet Yes, there's still games with microtransactions. Yes, there are games that feel like they're pay to win. 
I, I get all those complaints, but it is nice to know that Nintendo is at the very least trying to keep the consumer's wallet in mind and not making them pay so much money with every game that comes out. Uh, Edward Outcast over on Twitter says, why it's so hard to exploit people? I think he means why is it so hard? But uh, yeah, that's definitely how uh, the Dr Dragalia Lost developers come across. I should say, again, their parent company, Cyber Agent. They're just like, damn it, if we didn't work with Nintendo on this, we could have just price gouged everybody with everything we did in the game and added in all these options for microtransactions. Yes, that is certainly true. But then, uh, on the other side of things, how popular would Dragalia Lost have gotten without the partnership with Nintendo. Um, because, you know, Nintendo obviously has some marketing pull and push, whatever you want to call it, and uh, they help spread the game's name out there without a doubt. And like I said, it has been doing well, it's just that Cyber Agent thought it would be doing better, and they feel they could have gotten that money if it was just them. But yeah, we'll never know that case. These two teamed up together, and this is what we got. So it, I would say it worked <laughs> out for consumers without a doubt, because we're not spending as much. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, impressions of the game have been very good. People that like playing mobile games have had great things to say about it. Like, it, se it seems like they ticked all the right boxes. It's just that Cyber Agent wants to make more money. So it'll be very interesting to see, A, if Nintendo and Cyber Agent work together again in the future, and B, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Dragalia Lost going forward. Are we going to start to see, like, more monetization options in there? Uh, and then, obviously, the cat's out of the bag now, so people will be like, uh-oh. I think we know what's going on here, but yeah, hopefully Nintendo holds their ground. And uh, we're going to get to see what Nintendo does in the mobile space with a brand new game when we get to uh, Mario Kart Tour. That's what it's called, right? Um, who knows what that's going to be, if there's going to be paid content in there or some paid element. I, I honestly don't know. We really don't know much of anything about that game. But we do know it's coming later this year, so... Perhaps Nintendo will try the single payment again, or take a more traditional route, or something else altogether. I, I honestly don't know. But yes, I think it's well worth applauding Nintendo this time around. I don't agree with every decision Nintendo makes, but I do think Nintendo has... If a company can have a heart, I think Nintendo has their heart in the right place most of the time. So, uh, I thought this story was really interesting. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, that's it for today. It's not a big story. It's not a... I don't know what to call these anymore. <laughs> I just like talking to you guys. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, and I'll be back tomorrow with, uh, with something. I don't know what. <laughs> but until then, uh, take care. And I'll catch you later.